Hey guys, what's up? I hope you're having an awesome week. I've been using a lot of these everlasting gaskets or the PTFE gaskets. These things are talked about as being proven safe on the forums, but I started thinking, how can I test that? How could I know for sure or at least get a good idea that they're working? I've got an idea. I'll see you after this. Hey guys, welcome to Still It. I'm Jesse. This is the channel all about chasing the craft of home distillation and making it a legitimate hobby. So if that's something you're into, if you dig distillation or you're really into craft distilling, this might just be the channel for you. Have a look around. If you dig it, hit the subscribe button down below. It'd be sweet to have you on board. If you're not too sure what these gaskets are all about, if you haven't heard about them or seen about them before, I made a video a little while ago describing how to make them. I'll put a link up top. Check those out if you want. Come back and see whether or not they work. So I'm sure if you've been around the home distilling forums and communities, you probably have seen that using silicon gaskets like these to seal anything that holds high proof alcohol is probably not a very good idea. And that's not what I'm here to talk about today. I don't even want to get into that. All I want to test is whether or not wrapping this around this can seal this. That's what I want to know. I've been thinking about this for a while and I came up with a few ideas that I thought could work, but uh, in the end, I decided probably the best thing to do to start with would be to make a, a paper gasket to go on top of the silicon gasket wrap this in the PTFE tape, put it onto the jar, fill the jar with liquid, tip it upside down and leave it for 24 hours. Cut the PTFE tape away, which is, I imagine gonna be a, a real pain in the ass. Then we can have a look at the paper and see whether or not it stayed dry. I'm going to do one control, which is literally just the gasket and the paper, no PTFE. One gasket, which is wrapped once all the way around in PTFE one that has been wrapped twice all the way around and one that has been wrapped four times. Basically, I'm gonna try and keep absolutely everything identical other than the amount of PTFE that I put on these gaskets. Anyway, let's get stuck in, let's get set up because I'm really interested to see what happens with this. I, uh, I just don't know. <laughs> Now that I have all of the gaskets wrapped, I just need to put them back onto the lids. And I do need to stretch them over just a little bit, but they seem to go back to around about the same size, maybe a little bit larger than what they are when they're at resting. Uh, so hopefully that's not too much of an issue. Turns out I was wrong, these gaskets are actually significantly larger uh, on the lid. So I thought they sort of stretched out and then returned to their normal size once they got over this lip. As you can see, when I piece together all of the little parts of the control gasket. Man, that's fiddly. Uh, so actually, after seeing this, I'm a whole lot less confident about every one of those gaskets. If you imagine the PTFE tape is sort of overlaps like this on top of each other, as that gasket stretches, obviously there has to be some give there. There's more gasket to cover than what there used to be with the PTFE. In any case, I now have the three wrapped gasket jars ready to go. They're numbered on the top, the front, and the bottom, so there's no chance that I'm going to get these mixed up. That is the single wrap, double wrap, and the one that has been wrapped four times. I also have around about four liters of water with food coloring in it, red food coloring. The reason that I have food coloring in there is when I open these up and I cut the gaskets out, I want to be able to let them dry first so there's no liquid like sticking to the outside because it would be pretty silly if there was and I cut it open and then uh, somehow managed to get the paper wet in that process. So I don't want to do that and I want to be able to tell if they got wet at some point in time. Makes sense, right? All the jars are topped up with the same amount or pretty much the same amount of liquid in each. I must admit I wasn't entirely accurate. I did my best though. Ooh, that's hard to get whole closed with that much PTFE on there. Ooh. Uh, and I need to sneak this in here. Ah. Got it. <laughs> that was that was not easy. <laughs> and I'm just gonna get a big bucket in case anything starts pissing out somewhere. <laughs> I wanna get these flipped over at pretty much the same time, but seeing as I'm gonna be leaving them for 24 hours, I, I don't think it's really a big deal. Anyway, here we go. Interesting, I can see that bleeding already. I'll show you a short up, a close up in a second. Oh, 
All right, so it hasn't even been a minute yet since I flipped these over, and this is the control jar. As you can see, as I kind of expected, uh, the liquid is seeping through already, and the paper is uh, even sort of sapping it up into areas like this. It's sort of wicking it. This is the jar that's been wrapped four times. Uh, and as you can see, there is a few little drips. You can just see one back there. Uh, of uh, liquid seeping out, but I can't see it actually seeping into the gasket, which is interesting. This is number two, uh, and it's not leaking much, but what you can see here, this is almost like a, a bleeding or a color coming out sort of uh, from the inside out of the PTFE, so that's really interesting. And funnily enough, the one that has been wrapped once is actually leaking more than the control, which I did not expect. Uh, but I guess it may actually be leaping, leaking through the holes in the PTFE. I, uh, I'm not sure. Right, so we're going to leave this for 24 hours. I will check back in with you then and we'll see what results we get. All right, guys, it has been a little over 30 hours. I'm going to call this cooked. I'm really interested to see what's going on. As you can see, that has been leaking a bit. It actually looks like they've all been leaking a little bit, which I'm not entirely surprised about. I didn't expect them to seal 100%. Uh, but it is nice to know that they are close to waterproof, I guess. Let's get these things out of here and obviously make very sure not to mix up the order they're in. <laughs> As I stated earlier on, I just want to dry them off now and make sure there's no liquid still sitting around that can um, basically, for want of a better word, contaminate the, uh, the paper. So I assume this is going to be the hard part. I've got a few tools to get into this. <laughs> Guess let's just have a crack and see how this works out. Oh, actually. <laughs> okay, so maybe this is going to be a whole lot easier than I thought. Oh, yeah, there's uh, liquid coming out of this, so it's definitely wet on the inside. I'm hoping that you guys can see this a whole lot better now that it is on black. But just in case you can't, I'll describe what I'm seeing. So the single racked and the control gaskets are both totally soaked. They're wet through, I mean they're still like damp to the touch even now. They're red pretty much everywhere and honestly after seeing the, uh, the gasket stretch, I'm not entirely surprised at this. What I am surprised at is that there is such an improvement going from one to two layers of PTFE. There is a little bit of a wet spot just here. It's a little bit red, but other than that, everything is totally dry. It looks like a little red spot there. The fourth gasket, the one that has been wrapped four times, is totally dry though, which is really awesome. <laughs> I mean, that's cool. And the control obviously has worked um, just like how I expected it would, uh, which in some ways kind of validates all the other results. <laughs> I am totally pumped with this. I'm really glad at the way it worked out. It was really fun. But I don't want to go telling you what you should or shouldn't do with your distilling. And the reason for that is at the end of the day, all this has told us how waterproof varying layers of PTFE makes a silicon gasket on one of these swing top jars. It doesn't tell you if it's vapor proof. It doesn't tell you if it's alcohol proof. And it sure as heck doesn't tell you if it's alcohol vapor proof. That being said, I still think it's really cool. I still think it's meaningful. I would love to hear what you guys think. Maybe make a suggestion what you think this means for best practice. And more importantly, if you have an idea on how I can take this little experiment a step further and do better, let me know. So thanks everyone. Thanks for hanging out. I hope you enjoyed this because I really want to do more stuff like this on the channel. Thanks for watching the video. If you liked it, hit the like button down below. If you really liked it and you're not subscribed already, have a think about doing so. I've got to go get these jars cleaned out really well because a guy called Scott Bro totally hooked me up with, with a sweet little mailbag. I'm not going to tell you exactly what it is, but it does involve a few of these jars and some of my FFV. All right, guys. Later.